السلام عليكم أعزائي الطلبة تمنياتي للجميع بالسلامة موضوعنا اليوم Impression for Complete Denture by Dr. Ali Abd al-Razzaq Complete Denture Impression it will represent the negative registration of the edentulous mouth for the denture bearing stabilization and border seal areas Objective for Impression of complete denture why we take an impression for preservation of the remaining residual ridge for the support as we know the support is defined as the resistance to tissue ward movement also for the stability the stability of the denture it represents the resistance to horizontal movement the stability will decrease with the loss of vertical height of the ridges also with an increase of movement as in case of a flabby ridge then the aesthetics depends on the thickness of the border of the vestibule so this border should be full the vestibule but not overfill also for retention the retention if other objectives are achieved the retention will be adequate the retention will represent the resistance of tissue away movements of the denture. So, factor affect the retention. As we know, in complete denture, there are no clasp, no teeth, no clasp for retention. So, the retention will be obtained from the negative pressure, the atmospheric pressure that obtained by peripheral seal, good peripheral seal, good extension of the denture flanges into the vestibule that provide a peripheral seal also it's obtained from adhesion and cohesion which is the attachment between dissimilar and similar molecules mechanical interlock by presence of any tissue undercut that's very beneficial for retention also the patient will play an important role from muscle control and patient tolerance before we start for our impression we must know there are some biological consideration for mandibular and there is a difference as we see here between upper denture and lower denture so the upper arch as you see represents a wide area it's about 24 centimeters square while well, for the lower arch is a, a half, it's nearly a half of the upper, about 14 centimeter. The most problem with the lower is the presence of the tongue. The tongue will complicate the impression procedure. Also the supporting bone and the submucosa will differ between lower and upper arch. Classification of impression. There are three main classification for impression. The first one according to the pressure applied. So from the name, we have three different categories. The mucostatic, there is no pressure applied, just to seat the, 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 uh, the special tray in a place, or with a pressure called the mucocompressive or selective pressure technique in between. So, for the mucostatic technique, here there is no pressure applied. Recording of the tissue will be done in a relaxed condition. We need a special tray, we need impression plaster material, material with high flowability. Well, retention in this technique is mainly due to interfacial surface tension because there is no border molding in this technique. So, the, there is a poor peripheral seal for that technique and le less retention than other techniques. It's mainly used in areas with flabby ridge. Pressure technique, the mucocompressive technique, in this technique, from its name, we use the pressure while taking the impression. So, the recording of the tissue will be under function, not under relaxed condition as a mucostatic. The pressure is done by dentist or by the patient himself, 
by the teeth or the bitrim during occlusion. In such case, we call it the functional impression. The functional impression technique, either the patients have a previous complete denture, we take the inner side of this complete denture and fill it with a tissue conditioner material, then ask the patient to bite, to bite in order to make the impression under function and ask the patient to uh, make movements with lips, swallowings and other function that make him do border molding for himself. After that, we change the tissue conditioner material with a soft reliner material, permanent reliner material. This technique is done if the patients have previously complete denture. While if the patients don't have it, we can make it on a special tray with bite rim and ask the patient to close on it. It's resemble the closed mouth technique also. We will discuss it later. The selective pressure technique, the selective pressure technique, here we use pressure for certain area from its name, selective pressure. So we will use pressure for certain areas and limited pressure on other. How we can attain such technique? By, you, by making a unique special tray. This is special tray made on the primary cast. The primary cast we do relief by using of wax on the secondary denture bearing area, while a less relief will be done on certain areas, which is the primary stress bearing areas. So the special tray will come into pressure, into more pressure on the uh, primary stress bearing area during taking an impression and less pressure on the other areas. By this technique, we can achieve the stability and retention for the prosthesis. We can achieve both the mucostatic and the mucocompressive technique as well. The anatomic and functional form are the same step. Depending on the technique, so this is the second classification. The first one according to the pressure, the second one according to the technique, either it's open mouth technique or closed mouth technique. The closed mouth technique is represented by bite rim, as we said before, as a functional impression technique, while the open mouth technique is by using uh, the dentist hand press inside patient's mouth and take with minimal pressure applied to take the impression at rest while making the tissues will pulled over the edges of the denture in a function of speech. The impression, the third classification of impression can be classified depend on the sequence. As we know, the first visit we will make primary impression and the second visit we will make a final impression. This is what we do in our clinic. The first visit after complete diagnosis and uh, permission from the supervisor for taking a primary impression. Now the primary impression will be taken. The primary impression can be taken such as in the Following, the patient should be seated in upright position, okay? After seating the patients, we can take the stocky trays and we can uh, making an impression for the, mainly for the denture bearing areas. This is the main advantages of primary impression. You should take the extension for the denture bearing areas and record it then the impression will be over extended as usual the primary impression by using uh, with the impression compound or alginate usually the vestibular extension usually will be over extended that will be fixed later in the final impression the tray materials and techniques for primary impression 
as you know, the primary is taking with the stock tray. Okay, either perforated, plastic, aluminium, or non-perforated are different types. The dentist places the tray in the mouth and initially center it by using of the labial frenum and labial notch. The preliminary impression is made so it is advisable to select an impression material that has a relatively high viscosity. Okay, we prefer the material with high viscous for the primary impression. The primary impression materials, we have three types of material, either alginate impression materials or impression compound materials or impression putty materials. We widely used the alginate or the impression compound. The alginate imprint material, as you know, you can use it with a perforated. You must use it with a perforated stock tray. Okay? And the loaded tray is placed inside the patient's mouth. Uh, sometimes you need an additional wax in order to make a good extension of the tray. The denture is supported and the patient will ask to suck and pull the cheeks and lips down okay do border molding the mandibular tray also if you take the impression and alginate will be placed in the mouth and the tongue will be raised here taking impression for upper complete how he make that impression fix it inside the patient's mouth then ask the patient to open his mouth widely after fixation moving left and right for the coronoid process and do border molding of the cheeks for both sides as you see also for the labial frenum very important here labial frenum then do the sucking movements heels all these movements will make the border extension as good as possible for the primary impression. Okay? Making impression compound primary impression. Here we can use this technique. This technique, after melting the impression compound, impression compound is rigid impression material, press it inside patient's mouth, moving the uh, labial frenum and the cheek, outward, downward movement, in order to take the good extension of the impression compound. The forces here of pulling is different than for alginate because the impression compound material, as you know, is a rigid impression material, not an elastic one. So it needs more force. Okay? But, as you know, every impression may be pitfalls or common faults or errors in impression. The most widely used errors here. The incorrect tray positioning. The incorrect tray positioning means making the tray in right direction or in left direction, not centered in the middle. It lead to some areas not captured by impression. Also, excessive areas of impression tray showing means that after taking the impression, after the material set, take it out of the patient mouth, you see the tray not covered by impression material in some region. So this may be indicating that you make so much pressure, so much pressure until the tray will touch the tissue surface. So it will represent a pressure area. Also, sometimes you see voids. That means air bubble entrapped here or discrepancy. If the voids was a small, there is no problem. You can fill it with wax and continue pouring with a stone or a plaster. If the voids were too large, so it means you must repeat the impression, okay? Because it will not fix it by wax. Number four, 
incorrect border incorrect border formation as a result of incorrect border length of the tray so sometimes you can see the borders sharp borders not around means the impression material will not reach the vestibular region okay that means under extinction sometimes you see the margin of the of the flange of the tray not covered by impression means that the tray will be over pushed and reach to the vestibular region and will not record the the vestibular region so obviously distorted impression that will occur because movement of the tray during setting of the final impression tray means the while taking the impression during set not final you will move it right and left and that lead to obviously distorted impression poorly detailed poorly detailed impression yeah? poorly detailed impression may be to improper mixing like in case of alginate sometimes during mixing of alginate it will become set and then you take the impression while the material half set and there is a poor detail impression will result for the final impression for the final impression, I mean by final impression, it's the final registration of the surface. So the impression, after that, there will be a master cast. The master cast on which the complete denture will be fabricated. So this impression need special tray, need good border molding. Then we will do the impression with zinc oxide eugenol impression or impression of plaster. Alginate impression, I don't think this material is very good, but we may need it in such cases. You will see it in the fifth grade. Elastoma's impression material can be used also. Steps for making the final impression. Uh, believe me, uh, the steps start from the primary cast. Primary cast then do the relief of the cast as we say because we prefer the selective pressure technique the selective you need a relief wax on the non-primary stress bearing area and block out wax to block the severe undercut region on the primary cast we do this then we make the special tray after we make it we do a correction of the special tray the correction in the lab will be two millimeter away from the mucobuckle fault also we enough room for the frenum buckle and labial freni smooth rounded and well polished border after that we take it into the clinic into the clinic we correct the special tray before taking the final impression inside the patient mouth the same technique here as you see here, we can check for the buccal frenum relief. How to check it? We do a retraction of the buccal cheek. There is no attachment between the frenum and the extension of the special tray. Also, we check for the buccal, uh, sorry, for the labial frenum relief away from it. Then the same thing for the lower special tray. Here I will put you uh, a link for a well video in the YouTube. You can see it for the whole procedure. Border molding of the special tray. We have two techniques here. Either we do it, the whole border molding in a single step, or we do it in several steps if we do it in single step or simultaneous border molding or we do it in incremental or sectional border molding each have advantage and disadvantage a single step means less time needed okay less error but what less error you must pay attention to this point it is less error if it properly handled because if not properly handled, it will make so difficult. So this technique is not easy. It needs to well experienced dentist. 
okay? Well-trained, experienced dentist. And need polyether material, polyether material to make handling of the border molding more easier. In incremental or sectional border molding, the sectional border molding need more times because you will take, for example, the labial part, then the buccal part, then the posterior palatal seal area part. So you need more time. But it's not experience. It is easy, easy procedure, easy technique. No need for experience here. And need as a material green stick compound that we call the tracing compound. Border molding for maxillary and mandibular arch. What need? As you see, you need, like in the primary impression taking, you need to cheek and lip retraction in outward and trayward movement while the tray inside patient mouth. For the lower, in addition, you need tongue movement for the lingual side in upward and forward direction. You can see these pictures. You can see these pictures in front of you. Here, starting for the upper special tray with the incremental technique, do the pre-shaping for the labial with the tracing compound, then insert it inside patient's mouth. As you see, the anterior region border movement. After he make it a well rounded region anteriorly, he will do the second step in incremental technique for the buccal region, then insert it inside the patient's mouth. As you see here, the two finger inserted to hold the cheek outward and downwards movement. After that, he asked the patient to move the mandible side to side for the coronoid region. After that, the third step for the posterior palatal seal area. As you see here, it's folded over the posterior extension of the special tray, inserted inside the mesh mouth, then take the final border molding. After that, it will load the tray with the impression material and take the impression. So, final impression making, as we know, we do the wax spacer inside the special tray in order to make a space for the final impression material. So, after border molding, we can take the wax out of the special tray and we can make vents means holes inside the special tray for before taking the impression. Also, we use the zinc oxide eugenol impression material. It is very good material for that purpose. The homogeneous fixture will apply to the inner surface of the special tray and we can do the same border molding technique while taking the impression. Nowadays, with the new digital techniques, we can use a final impression utilizing digital intraoral scanner. By using, as shown here, we can use this scanner inside patient's mouth and take the scanning of the residual ridges and the surrounding structure. Uh, it's very good technique and till now it's under uh, evaluation and um, some disadvantages uh, may occur with this technique as the extension of the denture sometimes not good scanning some difficult scanning but for dentulous patient it's very good very good alternative to impression making uh, but for the completely dentulous uh, still under evaluation under evaluation thank you for your listening and i hope you will understand well goodbye